welcome to my channel. My name is Fuchi, and I'm gonna show y'all how I go about making a beat on the PO33. This device has so many little features packed into it, and I'm gonna dive into what I typically use when I go about making a beat on the PO33. So let's dive in. The PO33 is a handheld battery operated sampler. It provides you 40 seconds of sample time and you could play your samples chromatically or as one shots. So you have eight pads on the bottom that are for drums and then eight pads on the top that are for melodic sampling. So today I'll be using a sample that I found on Tracklib. Recording that into one of my pocket operators and showing you how I go about chopping up a sample. So let's get into it. So something that's really dope about Tracklib is that you could pitch up and down your samples before putting them into your uh, PO33. And the benefit of pitching up your sample allows you to increase sample time by then pitching back down once you put it on the PO33. Uh, this feature really is such a game changer. All right, so I got two loops that I really like on here. I'm going to go ahead and just go about chopping these up into 16ths, right? And how I typically go about doing that is I'll record onto the melodic section. And then from there, I'll just copy it down to the to the uh, drum section. And what that effectively does is chop into 16ths. Whereas if I would have just recorded it directly onto the bottom eight, it would have just auto chopped it. Now it works great for something that's like maybe a bass line by itself, a drum line by itself, or even a synth line by itself, anything, right? where it's like isolated stems. It works great at chopping those up, auto, auto chopping those, but what it doesn't necessarily work on is if you're looking to just chop into 16ths, and so that's why I go about doing it this way, right? So check this out. That's great, right? And now what you can do from here, you'll set the pitch. So what I usually like to do is set the pitch down. So what I like to do is just pitch it down until I like the way it sounds, right? So. So. That, that's a cool little chop right there. And then I have another chop right here that I like. dope right there. I like the way that sounds. All right, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just use that right there. Um, I got a couple of little loops I'm, I'm liking. I like the way this pitch sounds. Generally from here, I'll, I'll apply the filter, which I, I which the filter on, the, on these PLs are pretty good. I like the way they sound. So let me go ahead and put a filter. So you'll see there it's, it, it says FLT. That means it's a filter, right? So... So from here, what I typically like to do is just lay the chops out, right? The ones that I like the most. So let me go about this. Here's how you get into pattern mode. You just click on this right here and you're right in pattern mode. what I did there, right? I was able to easily find the BPM 
just by having the chops laid out. So on the PO on the right, I have all of my drum patterns on here. And then my PO on the left has all of my samples, right? So I already have a bunch of pre-canned drum patterns that I've been using. So you can see here, I have this drum. Another drum loop right here. Another drum loop. So, you know, I just have a bunch of drum loops already loaded up on here. I'm going to show you guys how I usually go about creating my drums, right? Or how I usually go about chopping up my drums. So I use, uh, uh, a lot of times I use drum loops, right? And the benefit of using drum loops is that they've already got all of the velocity set for you. They have the swing set for you, right? And so there's two ways of going about it, right? There's two methods. You could have one shots on each of these pads or you can have drum loops. And so the way I do it is I like to use drum loops personally. And I use AJ Hall's drum breaks. So you'll see here, I'm going through all the different drums. You got that. You see there, so these are all just like the different drum sounds I got. So on the bottom eight, I'll have drums that are already chopped up for me. And on the top eight, I have uh, chromatic samples. So I'll have like my bass one notes, one shots are on there. Uh, I have as well as um, uh, little vocal chops or something like that. So let me show you guys what I do up here. So some cool sound effects. Some vocals. Right, you hear that? And then a bass. So I have a, a bass, uh, bass as well on here, right? So the top eight. That's kind of how I have it organized, right? I have the top eight are chromatic samples, one shots, and then I have the bottom eight for chopped up drum loops. So, all right, let me show you guys how I go about creating uh, a pattern, a drum pattern. So I'll select my pattern. Yeah, I like, I like the way that snare sounds. All right, now I got to find a kick. And so you see what I was talking so you see what I was talking about earlier how drum loops will already have the velocity set for you. So check out these two kicks. They're two different sounds, right? Like one's a little bit more of a muted kick and the other one's more of like a open kick. So you see it's more of a muted that's an like more of an open kick, right? So check this out. So the, so it adds a little bit of bounce. Watch this. I'll add a kick right there. And then the open kick there. So Right, you get that? And now let me play them both back to back. Check this out. All right, so you guys see how I laid that out on there, right? So uh, pretty much I chopped it up. I chopped up the sample in the 16th, and then I just kind of laid it out into individual patterns. And from there, I'll be uh, uh, sequencing out each individual pattern so it makes pretty much a verse-chorus, verse-chorus structure. 
Let me show you guys how I do it. So I'm going to do uh, 16 bars for the verse and eight for the chorus. So check this out. So one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. And that's 16, right? And then from there, I want to add eight bars for the chorus. So it's going to be one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. There you go. kind of not necessarily feeling that second chop there um so typically what i like to do is i'll just mess around with it a little bit more and see what i see what we got here uh, but i like the way this one loop sounds this loop right here now let's hear what it sounds like with the drums So that right there sounds dope for a little breakdown. Now, let me hear what it sounds like with this first chop. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't necessarily like it. I, I think it's okay, right? So that um, that idea I might nix out, right? That's this is this is the process of beat making, right? We take out, we add in, and this is just how I go about it typically, right? You guys will catch me on my on my Twitch lives or soon YouTube lives. And you'll see how I usually do that. Like, I'll, I'll find something, like it at first, and then later on I might delete it later. So uh, let me go ahead and 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 re-loop all this out and get it into song mode. Um, and you guys saw how I did that before. Um, and let me go ahead and try this again. <laughs> So I'm, I'm not totally feeling that second loop there. I, I think I might just use it as an intro and let that, that part just kind of loop out the, fir the verse. So let, let me try that out. Watch. All right. So that's going to effectively be the intro. So wait, it's, it goes. Dun, 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 all right let me, let me let me do it one more time so check this out that's going to be the intro That's the intro right there.
appreciate you rocking with me this whole video, taking a look at how I go about making a beat on the PO33. I'll be making more of these videos in the future, so please like and subscribe. I'll be going, uh, I'll be making a video with the 2500, the MPC 2500, my Insonic EPS back there, my 202, 404, and my PO32. Oh, forgot about the poly end tracker. So yeah, I'll be definitely making more videos in the future with these guys. So please subscribe. Peace. Mm -hmm.